This is 150. Yeah. So like straight away, I would do a drill beat, mm. but I don't want to do a drill beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. I've got I've got an idea for a beat. I know how to do it. If there's like an idea or like a little sound that I like, I just I just chuck it in the stash. Cold. Look about you get me. I was quick with the trackpad on FL. <laughs> On logic, I'm good, but this, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still stuttering on. <laughs> so I started making beats on logic. Okay. And then, like, there was a time when I was making half of the beat on logic. logic. And then no, on, on, on FL, <laughs> and then went over logic. to logic to, like, do the mixing and stuff, because I didn't take the time to learn the, the door. So yeah, that's just like a little opener. Mm. Um, just keep it simple. Like how my process is, I basically just add a bunch of different drums. Mm. Then I create a second loop to do a variation. And then I'll do the mixing after. And then a bit of mixing and then I'll do like, um, like just structure it up as well. I think that's a good way to do it as a producer. Mm. Obviously for the artist's sake, they like an uh, instrumental that's simple. Yep. But at the same time, the listeners like an experience so if you're not doing that as an artist then as a producer that's where the producer can shine still so like here's where i just do like a regular 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 type track beat So I like to do this, so I just do a bit of variation by changing the pan and the velocity. So what I clicked was option and R, just to randomise like the hi-hats. This is why I should go to FL, bro. <laughs> workflow, I'm telling you, <laughs> workflow is... I'm doing that by hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that Long one, that day. One, that. FL, to me, is like the Samsung of phones. It's like, yeah. it, it has good use case, but the UI is hard to learn. But like, once you get... The hang of it. I'm saying this and I use an iPhone. It's crazy. But like, <laughs> if, if, if you understand how the user interface works and the door works, like, you're good, you're patterned. You just got to learn, like, the shortcuts. listen to samples I'm just and I hear it I'm like I figure out what type of genres I can make with it mm. so I watched a video of like Timberland and how he does his process okay Donny is beatboxing before he even makes the beat and I think that's sick I do that a lot cold. safe bet is to go into Imperium I'm not gonna lie 
<laughs> shout out to shout, shout out, out to Jace well. Every session we, we've used the pack. It's thirty people. <laughs> Trust me, go for it, go for it. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah. Man's all sampling Optimus Prime and that. Like, <laughs> he was on a set of Transformers. Literally. He said, "Just record this, bro." Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Also, train your ear. Mm. What is that? <laughs> Bro, I was in a session one time with my boy mm. and he was like, the frequency and the EQ and this and you got to do the calculations. I'm like, he actually backed out a calculator <laughs> to calculate how much reverb was needed. Yeah, I, was I, like, I do that as well, bro. <laughs> Swear down. I just use my ear and just call it a day. Like, Not to, not to hit shit on drill, but... I feel like people are hungry for new genres, isn't it? New genres and overall like new perspectives and new topics because 100%. we don't want to hear about the violence and the this, that, the other. Like we want to see more positivity uplifting. in music, more uplifting, more inspirational. Like it's fine, go be about getting your money, but at the expense of like other people's lives, it's like come on, bro. Come on, bro. There's different ways of making money, is it? You know? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Jeez. Oof. <laughs> Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> Gonna shake that ass and get sturdy. <laughs> shift everything over to fit in one of these. Um, I just do shift command and then drag. Okay. And then do option and then click right. And then you've got a free space oh, mad. to add this sound. And if you want to add the sound in, you do click with two fingers and then go to channel routing, route selected channels to the track. I like adding a wider mm. to my bass. I love stereo, anything stereo just like Brings out yeah. the experience and the whole vibe. And then I'm gonna put a soft clipper on this kick because it is killing people. <laughs> it's doing a mad thing. This kick is crazy. crazy. <coughs> and another effect that I like to do is I like to reverse my kicks. Okay. It's a little riser, isn't it? Yeah. you're just in the zone so much that you don't actually hear what you're making and then it's when you actually sit back and play it and you're like oh, yeah <laughs> that's usually the next day for me you know yeah i'm the type i can't lie i'm the type where i just like i would listen to the same instrumental like five to, like 
500 times. Mm -hmm. And then you just on to it. the next one. And then we're going to get a DJ. Pet peeve, out of key 808s, we don't do it. I'll be in the club and I'm having a nice vibe with a girl and I hear it off key 808 and I have to let her know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not letting it slide. <laughs> to reverse this one this one's got a nice little effect to it It needs a cowbell, but I don't want to make it complicated. Oh, I know where to put it. Cowbell. Maddest like elbow I've ever heard in my life. Ammo. 
been dabbling here and there, but I usually just mix it into genres now. Mm. You? Um, I've done a couple. I've done like a drill and a piano mix. Yeah. Oh my goodness, where did that? It's probably in the mildew I had today. All the sauce is crazy. <laughs> the extra E numbers. <laughs> Look, trust me, bro. If I come with the protein and the, I had I had two eggs in my mildew. Okay, I don't know what okay. it is. Like. <laughs> to the rap. Okay. <gasps> what did wow. I do? What? What did I do? <laughs> Woof. Wavy. Cool. 